She said, listen, to understand, not rebuttal, your, your just being argumentative. That's judgment and lack of empathy and offer no solutions. You are just bash women and off as sanctimonious. Wow, that that was judgmental. That was judgmental. Um, a lot of personal stuff coming at me. I did not attack anyone personally. Um, but uh, yeah, let's 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 crack into this, shall we? Uh, thank you for approving the Iowa State uh, uh, theory right on on how women can just finally accept things and and basically through electric shock, not seeing the person but hearing them. Uh, basically give them uh, deathly amounts of electricity. So yes. Uh, I lack empathy. Uh, yeah, I did not call an entire group of people and summation them up, sum, sum them up and label them as predators and, and, and uh, violent people. I did not do that. That's empathy, apparently, is what you're saying. Because you, what you definitely are defending, you're defending that anything a woman says, everybody should listen and just accept. So, I understood the concept. I listened. I understood what she was saying. Because she just flat out said it. All men were predators. And that is, like I said, which apparently you're not listening and being empathetic is that is the basis of all bigotry. That is the basis of racism. That is the basis, the foundation of viewing an entire group of people, whether it be women, men, one-legged um, people, whatever, Jews, Chinese, whatever, and view them all collectively as in a negative connotation, that is the foundation for racism. That is the foundation of what happened in Hotel Rwanda. You do not want to listen to that. You just want to accept her because, in her opinion, through what you call empathy over that one person and, and not the empathy of the, an entire group of people that are being mislabeled. Being judged by your words. I'm not the, I'm not, I am not the Richard here. I've just pointed it out. And because I pointed it out on bigotry, you're trying to make me the Richard. Thanks. That's, that, that doesn't show any kind of hive mentality to where you just listen and believe whatever and accept it that is not empathy that's yes men that's just going along with the curve that's just like oh today we are going to get rid of a certain people yeah let's do it you're right no no it's not a lack of empathy it's a lack of empathy on you not me and solutions not to do it. That's my solution. To wake up and look at people individually. That was my solution. You don't want to do that apparently. You want to lump everybody in one group if they have certain demographics and call them a name. That is what you are defending. But because I spoke up, you are the one attacking. I am defending looking at people individually. I am defending not labeling a whole group with negative attributes because someone's upset. So yeah. I don't know why you're defending this and then making these accusations when I have proven time and time again these ones don't fit me. They fit the people that are defending that creator. We're saying... All men are predators. All men are like bears. I even flipped the script. And you're no one. You're not 
you're not even arguing my ideals. You are not arguing uh, that that you should not judge everyone on an individual basis. You are just coming at me and saying these things because you do not like it that I was correct. Because you cannot attack the idea that I stood by. You can only attack what you can put and label me as. You're coming after me, not my idea. Come after my idea. I didn't go after that lady. I didn't say she was horrible. I didn't say all this about her. I said her idea was bad. And she's labeling everybody into a certain group with negative connotations. I didn't mock anything about her. I went after her idea. You can't do it. You won't do it. Because you agree with what I say. To look at people individually. And not just label negatively. People of an entire group. Over whatever prejudice. And you know I'm right. And I think that even upsets you more. Because I did listen. I did understand. The problem you have is I spoke up against it. Just like that experiment because it was only 15% of men that spoke up and would not participate knowing they were giving lethal um, electric shocks to someone they couldn't see but could hear 0% of women did that that's an actual study can't remember the name of it that's an actual study that's, I remember learning about it in psych class in college and I learned about it in a couple other classes as well it was brought up again so yes and you are showing that mentality. You are showing. You want, because of gender, you want anybody to say anything and just blindly accept it and listen to understand. Yeah, I understood her position. I understood she probably has various reasons for coming up with that ideal. But I also understand that the ideal is wrong and it is dangerous. So, yeah. You go ahead and just go along. That's fine. <laughs> you go ahead and judge people on characteristics that they have no control over. And label those people an entire group of people by those characteristics. And not even get to know the individual. So yeah, we take people as an individual basis. You know... You don't want to do that. And you show it. So thank you. Thank you for proving me right.